America, a country founded on the principle that all people are created equal and all should be treated fairly, with dignity, and with the same level of respect. A country of many different cultures sharing ideas and a diverse community unencumbered in their quest to live a life of freedom and peace. Building a community where each individual is important and vital to the health of the nation. A country that stands up for the oppressed, comforts the needy, and welcomes those searching for hope, opportunity, and a better life. There is a fear factor that influences those who oppose immigration. It is natural and sometimes ingrained over generations. Different cultures, skin color, religious views, economic fears, and mistrust feed into that fear. It is the fear of the unknown. By dehumanizing a person's nationality or culture, it becomes easy to turn them away and discount their struggles. Those seeking the great opportunities and promise of America are perceived as a threat and a drain on society. But we need to ask ourselves these questions that face many immigrants every day. Would you stay in a war-torn country would you want your children to be hungry every day? Would you want your family's life to be threatened by poverty, famine, disease, and violence? Wouldn't you want a better life for your family? Wouldn't you want the opportunity to be free and to hope? The fears of today are very much similar to the fears and opposition that face the Irish, Italians, Germans, Chinese, Japanese, and Russians starting over a century ago. Famine, war, and the hope that America provided drove millions to America. Many risked their own lives so that their families could have the opportunity for a better life. Immigrants flooded America with no job, security, or home. Some only had the clothes on their back. All they had was a dream, to build a future that included peace and happiness. A dream to live a life of hope and open to many possibilities. After passing through the gates of Ellis Island or through other locations, they were not met with a welcome, but with condemnation and mistrust. It would not be an easy transition, made all the harder by a country that did not want them. The Know Nothing Party openly advocated against Irish Catholics. Germans and Irish were mocked in newspapers and in horrible cartoons. Jobs were hard to come by because of a person's nationality, and children were required to work long and strenuous hours to help the family survive and put food on the table. Fear and ignorance is a powerful and dangerous tool that can lead people away from their moral compass and into the territory of hate. Our history has seen the destructive nature of fear and ignorance, played out in discrimination and the segregation of African Americans which was a sad and embarrassing chapter in American history. It has played out in the internment camps during World War II, when American citizens of Japanese descent were held captive in camps. The immigrants of years ago struggled to survive in America, but they did not leave. They did not disappear. They assimilated into society, holding on to their heritage and culture while still becoming truly Americans. They contributed to society and helped build America into a world leader. Those newly arrived became American, fought for America, and brought their children up as Americans while still passing on their culture and heritage. Today, America is strong due to the diversity of its parts. In today's world, there are many issues that lead people to yearn to come to the United States. Poverty and famine are taking the lives of children or starving them to the threshold of death. 
They search for any morsel of food. People are living in squalor and unsanitary conditions that threaten their health and, ultimately, their lives. Children bear the brunt of these brutal conditions as their parents helplessly watch their plight with no chance for resolution. War has torn asunder families and the land they live in. Political oppression has dampened individuality, restricted expression, and trampled hope. With jobs scarce and resources few, the immigrants, with great courage and some trepidation, turn their gaze towards America. People beaten down by economic and societal challenges leave the only home they have known, their possessions, their families and friends, to set off to find a better life. They are looking for a chance, the opportunity to become part of what America espouses to be. They are hoping to be welcomed. Today's newly arrived face some of the same opposition that those coming to America many years ago. Those people may have been your parents, grandparents, or great-grandparents. Many in America fear that they will take jobs or services away. As it happened before with past immigrants, today's newly arrived are dehumanized, frowned upon, and cast as villains who are not to be trusted. They have become political pawns in a game that does not look at the individual. They are met by walls, both visible and invisible. The contribution of the past immigrants is ignored and not considered when people discuss the plight of the new arrivals. But their hopes and dreams are the same as ours. They want security for their families. They want opportunity to succeed or fail on their own merits. They want an education for their children that will brighten their future. They want their children to go to bed with a full stomach. They want freedom. America the beautiful, land of the free, home of the brave is a dream that has no walls, no boundaries, no limits. It only has hope and opportunity for all.